evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 6 of this SS Normandy tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be two decks of the ship superstructure, um, and if I get time it'll be a third as well. So that's the focus for today, I'll just fly over to the prototype, or at least get close enough so you can see. You've got uh, two decks of the white superstructure, just to see just above the uh, the black there, got to, as well as a line of portholes, got to those two decks there, and the one above that, if I've got time, we'll fit that in as well, but to the main main focus is the two decks below the overhang, and just above the black section, so that's the focus for today. Right, so, what we're going to do, we're going to fly to the back end of the ship first, we're going to start work up that end, so I'll chug on down to the uh, stern of the ship, the arse end if you like, and what we're going to do, once I get there, is to build forward, or count forward, sorry. So we get to the end of the wooden deck, which is right here, so right at the back of the ship. On the wooden deck, you got to, we've got the wooden decks here, so you're going to go from the centre block, which is right here, and you're going to go to the 19th block forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And on that 19th block, we start building. So you put a centre block on that 19th block and then you're going to build a wall uh, 11 wide so that's 5 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that's your back wall like that. Then for the sides you're going to build uh, 9 forward so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 I'll just work on the uh, right hand side for the minute and then I can flip it over in a minute. So we'll just do 9 here and then we want uh, out two, so we go one, two like that, and then you want six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then you want two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so one, two, three, like that. So that's the back wall and how it looks. I'll just do the other side actually up to this point, so might as well do it. So do the sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two out, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And there we go. That is the full width and the full curve sort of shape of the back wall of the ship, or the back wall of the deck. And so we'll go back to the right hand side, and from there, from this row of two here, you're going to build along the side. Now the first line is going to be a row of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you want another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and then you want 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then you want 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, so there we go. That is that. The reason I'm counting these sides, or these sections here, because they... they um. They run up short in this area here because there's an overhang, well not an overhang, but an underhang here of the black section. But from the the rest of the sections forward, there's no um, black sections exposed. So that's basically what this is for. Because you've got a couple of black blocks there, you've got two black blocks there, you've got three there, and well that's it really. So it's just so those blocks are exposed at the top, so we'll come back to those later on. And then from the end of that 15, you just want to put a block here and then trace along the side of the ship all the way along, or actually not trace it, but build on top of the black, all the way forward to connect back to the forecastle on the bow. So I just build the white line all the way along the side, and it will connect to the forward end. So just quickly do this. Do 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 do. And I again apologise if, I, if um, I'm building this too fast because I know I am using commands uh, for the PC. But if you're building this on a uh, console, is basically all you need to do is just pause the video and go through it again and again. Um, and also recommend that you don't build this on your own because this is probably the biggest ship uh, that I have built for. Well, I built a tutorial for anyway, so it's big even uh, for my standards. Even if you're using commands, so if you're building this on a console or building this. Uh, on any other format really, even if you haven't got welded it on PC, you're still going to want a team of people to build, help build this, so uh, I apologise uh, for using welded it, but if I was going to build this block by block then you'd never get it done. Anyway, just carry on building this white line down the side I'm doing this freehand just so I can do the talking uh, all the way down 
to the forward end. Are we nearly there? Nearly that. So just build it all the way forward to connect to the front end. Oh, and there we go. So right, so we are. That's connected now to the front end, and that is one side done. I'll do the other side later uh, in a bit. I just want to get this area out of the way. So what I'm going to do is fly back to the uh, back wall. Do 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 do. Right, so now what you want to do, once you've got that side in uh, in place there, which I will do in a jump, why not jump cut, but I'll just copy paste it. Um, once you've got that side in place up there, you're going to have to increase the height of the walls to five high. So two, three, four, five, like that. So it's five high. And I use weld edit for this bit. So from there to there, we use set quartz there. Um, I would use the concrete and other things for this, but uh, I haven't got the latest version of the game, so I'm going to have to update it to get that. But that's just because people have been asking me to use concrete. All right, so same on this side. So now I'm just building around. I'm just doing the right hand side again, so I'm just building, increasing the height of these walls all the way around to five high. And then I'll do the other side in a copy paste. So just increase them in height to five high. So that's the back wall increased in height. So I'll just do the sides now. Probably well did it. It's a bit different to the old version that I had in Minecraft Classic. It's uh, a bit more lining up to do. Also, I've got a very weird mouse wheel at the moment. It's not working too well. But I might just go by. <coughs> Bear with me when I'm doing this. I'm just doing this as quickly as I can, but the mouse wheel isn't working too well. Right, now down to the front end, just increase the height of this wall. Do -do 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 -do. Right the way down to there. Let me use that again. There we are. There we are. That's that deck all in place. Now I'm just going to pop up to the inside a minute because I have pointed out where the decks go. I did this in the previous video of uh, where the decks go. Now when this deck is added, which will be in a few minutes, when you get to the uh, forward end of the ship under the forecastle, there will be a height restriction under here because this section comes in quite low there's going to be quite a you know there's going to be no headroom here so you may want to seal this area off um, so you, don't, you won't get stuck in there so that's just pointing out to what that is it's just a, not, not any issues just uh, <laughs> what's happened all right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do a quick copy paste copy flip and paste flip it to the other side and then we'll, we can add the deck so uh, bear with me a second when I sort this out just fly all the way down to the other end. Right down to the centre. Right, I'm going to put a coloured block on the centre there, so I can mark. I can use it as a marker later on. So I go to there. We do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And then there we go. That's both sides done. Yeah, I use that uh, coloured thing when I'm when I'm adding more bits later on. That's a centre point size. So don't worry about that. Anyway, that is the sides all added and the back wall all increased in height. Goes all the way forward. Can't see it because it's so dark. Well, not dark, but foggy. But uh, I assure you that is in place. <coughs> in place. Sorry. All right. So now what we want to do is go down to deck uh, down to the uh, top line of the white we just built. And along the top, we're going to add the deck. Now this deck is going to take about six months to build freehand and about six minutes to do, in my case, by world edit. So I just did the first few 
area. So that's the uh, where the deck is going to go along the top here, like that. And it's going to go all the way forward, as far forward as it can go, basically, all the way up to the point uh, underneath the focal of the ship. Um, so I'm just going to use the fill tool. So I'll stand on this block and use the fill tool. So fill wood by 300. This may take a while, so uh, bear with me. But yeah, if you're going to do this freehand, I keep saying if you're going to do this freehand without tools, then you're really going to need to do uh, need a, a team of people to help you. But so uh, there's the deck added now, so that is uh, how it should look. I'll just fly over it quickly. So yeah, there's how the deck should look on the top of that uh, piece of super structure there. And we'll just fly forward now and make sure the deck is in place all the way along. I don't think it is, I think it's come up short. So I'm going to have to fill it in uh, again with the fill tool. So bear with me while I sort that out. Just fly down here and plonk it there. This shouldn't take as long. Do -do. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to start do doing, and then it's already done. All right, so there we go. There's the uh, deck filled in all the way forward. Now, as you can see, there is a height restriction, like I just explained, of where the uh, underside of the forecastle is. And uh, you see, it does get rather dark under here, but it does go all the way forward. And oh, I don't want to go too far; I get lost. All right, so there we are. There's the uh, that deck all added. And um, yeah, don't look too bad. And uh, the next deck when it's added will be this up to the height of this white section we've already built so it'll come up to the uh, center point of the pointy bit here so the, the bit we part uh, with bit the, the built the the bit we built in part f 5 which is this bit the deck will come up the next deck we built will come up to this point here so that's where the uh, deck will end eventually right so that's that bit all done Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, measure the uh, next deck, or write, write all the details down, and then I shall come back and build it. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I'm at the back end of the ship again, at the stern. So what we're going to do, we're going to start building the next uh, well, next deck and superstructure. So what we're going to do, we're going to go fly down to the uh, back wall of what we just built. So this white section here. Go to the centre block of the back wall. So this coloured block did come in handy after all. So this is the centre block and on the wood, first block of the wood there, you're going to count forward to the 19th. So like on the deck below, go 19 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And on the 19th block, you put your first block. Now, and what you're going to do now is build this back wall and it's going to be 13 wide. So that's 6 either side of this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's your wall 13 wide. And then I'll work on the right hand side for the moment. So from that point you're going to want to build uh, 2 rows of 5. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 2 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then two rows of two, so it's two and two like that, basically tracing the section below. And if well, I'll do the other side as well, me as well. So from the other side, you do the same again, five and five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two and two like that. So there we are. There's the back curve of that part of the superstructure. And then what you want to do from there is build along the side. You want to build a row of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's basically tracing the side here, but uh, keep going the way I've measured it. And then you want a line of fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then a row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that is important to make sure that is just ten, because from this point onwards, there's going to be some slight changes, not to the bottom rows, but to the top rows when we get to that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly increase the height of the... Well, actually, I'll, I'll build the... Uh, no, actually, I will just increase the height for the minute. Uh, increase it to 5 high. So 2, 3, 4, 5, like on the deck below. We'll just use World Edit to uh, increase it in height. So not filling it in with wood. We use quartz. And for some reason, it's spelled quartz. 
don't know why that is. That's maybe just me typing it. But, uh, quartz. So just do one side for the moment, then I'll copy paste again. So, like I said, just increase the height to five high, just for the section that we just built. And this mouse is starting to annoy me. Up to there, flip in, or increase in height, not flip. Up to there, and then same down the sides. down to that row of 10 there. Alright, so there we are. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to uh, copy paste this to the other side. So I haven't got my coloured centre block, so I'm going to have to go to here and then add a coloured centre block and then we paste it to there, or copy to there. So we go uh, copy flip to the right and paste. Like that. So there we are. That's both sides in place and uh, it should look something like that so now that's all increased in height to five high now what I, was <coughs> what I was explaining forward of this point so forward of the rows of ten we just built all the way forward from here along this side here it's going to be increased to height in f uh, increased to the height of four because the row of the top uh, line of five the fifth block high or the fifth high section will be uh, the foundation of the outside edge of the ship which is the sort of the overhang of the uh, promenade deck or the overhang of that uh, exec deck. So basically, what you want to do is from this point all the way forward is increase the height of the deck, or increase the height of the sides just to four high. So just do alongside this. So you can see when it's four high, it's one block lower than the rest of it. So build it four blocks high all the way along the side until you get to the front section. So I'll just do that as quick as I can because it's going to take a while. Go to there. Then up to the next one. So four all the way along, or four high all the way along. And then up to there. And then four all the way along the side up to the front end or where it connects to the front end right the way down to there which is where it attaches there and then you can see it's still one block lower than the top which is fine and we'll wait for it to uh, finish building there we are all right so now we, what we've got here now we've got this top line of blocks here now this should be 27. When we built this in part three or four, this should be 27 high, uh, 27 long. Sorry. So from this point to the front of this line, should be 27. And it is, as it says at the at the end of that uh, pink sentence there. So on the last block of that 27, which is the back end of it, you're going to put a block there like that, which is now overhanging the side. And then you're going to build this line of blocks all the way along the side, overhanging. Uh, all the way to that row of ten where the uh, row uh, where it is five high. So just build it all the way along the side until it gets to the five high section. So you got to do a bit of tracing when you get down there. So just go to the end of this outside section first, to the end of this outside here, and I'll do it freehand. Otherwise, I'll get lost. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we are, there we are at the end of that one. So that's the outside of the ship, the outside edge. And for the next row along, do the same. Just go from this block here and trace the outside. All the way down that one and then for the same on the next one trace along the edge of that one and the same again trace along the next one and the next one as well trace along that 
and of course the next one trace along that and there we go up to that there that uh, last block there and that should be the row of 10 the 10 uh, long section there so there to there is 10 it says in the bottom there and uh, that is where the last block of the overhang ends so there we go there's the overhang as you can see that will be the foundation of the outside edge of the ship the outside um, overhang basically it's where the sort of uh, sort of promenade if I get to the uh, prototype well, you can't really see it from here but you can see lots of windows along the side there where the crosshairs is in the center is that deck there it overhangs the edge of the ship by one block so that is what this is all about so that is the overhang done there so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to do a quick copy paste or cut and copy and uh, flip it to the other side so uh, bear with me a second when I do this do 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 so I should go from that block there all the way to the back end. Oh, while I was what uh, the overhang is as well. So where it is one block overhanging the side, you got the um, the deck will sit in this groove here. You got this sort of uh, this groove along the side, so the deck will sit in that space there on the overhang. So I'm um, just fly down to the back end now and uh, carry on flipping and pasting and copying. All the way down. Do, 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 do. Right, so copy down to that point there. And we do copy, flip to the right, and we paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And the overhang done. So, what's all that? done so what we want to do now is to add the deck now I'll just explain that uh, uh, the deck does sit on top of this wall here which is fine that's how it's supposed to be so what we're going to do is just to add the deck along the top line of the white again so like on the deck below we just add the wood blocks along this line here all the way forward up to that uh, pointy end that I showed you earlier on right so what I'm going to do is same again is use the fill wood tool so for the center and you should use fill word uh, by 300 roughly probably need to be uh, added on later on as well or once once it's added probably need to add a bit more on the end like on the deck below do 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 do, do. just bear with me a second do 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 do. Oh, there we go. All right, that's the uh, deck sort of adding as it goes along, and uh, you can see the decks added in that area. And we'll just fly over to the overhang. Now the overhang is covered up by the uh, well, the inside of it's covered up by the deck, but you can see the overhang is like that, and the deck sits in the groove quite nicely. So we we'll just fly forward, and uh, we see that the deck is not quite filled in at the front end. So I've got to. Uh, do the same thing again so you can still see you can actually see from this point here the deck sits on top the area there so that is how it should be right I should just fill in the uh, floor again so underneath add the two blocks and use the fill tool again so fill word 300 and it shouldn't take as long to do it this time do 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 I didn't really need to add that block to be honest I could have just sort of stood on the groove but never mind but it's all done now so we'll fly up to the front end and you can see the wood goes roll all the way up to the pointy bit on the deck there so there we go that is that uh, area of the superstructure done we've got two decks done now which is uh, quite all right and um, yeah they not too bad do it? so what I'm gonna do quickly fly along the side so you can see the overhang here and uh, that goes all the way down the side. And hang on, is that, is that? No, it's just a shadow. Sorry, I thought there's some black blocks in the way, but it's not. It's just a shadow. Anyway, that is those two areas done. I've got two decks done. So I think what I can do now, I think while I've got time, I shall do the uh, the next deck on top. So uh, I shall do a jump cut while I do the measuring and things for that. So I shall return in just a moment. So back in a bit. Okay, back again. Now I've done all the measuring and things required for the next job. So what we're going to do? going to fly over to the bow of the ship which we were well, already at basically to the first block of the wood deck that we just built so this is the deck we just built here go to the first block of the pointed edge so we've got the point right here 
the first block is that one there. And you're going to go from there 40, or to the 42nd block back. So uh, that's the first one. I've already got a marker up there. So that's the first. And then we fly all the way up to that is 40, 41. And on the 42nd block is the white block. Now I've already put that there because uh, that's basically what you want to do. So on the 42nd block, add your white block on the. Uh, <laughs> excuse me on the 42nd block back add the white block like this so it's already there right so now what we want to do is to build the wall which is 11 wide so it's five either side so one two three four five one two three four five like that and then the sides you want to build four one two three four like that same on the other side one two three four so you got this sort of uh, half square shape and then from the end of the four you want to build outwards four so one two three four and then five one two three four five and then uh, two rows of four so one two three four one two three four and then uh, a row of three one two three and then two and then another two like that and then you want to change direction and go two back so two like that and then um, a row of three one two three and then a row of four, one, two, three, four, and then another four, one, two, three, four, and then a row of five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And uh, on the outside edge, you just want to put one block like that. So that is the curve of the front of the superstructure. And just do the other side, may as well. So from here, you add four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, and two, and then two back, and then three, one, two, three, uh, and then uh, four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, like that. So that is the front wall, like that. So now the next job is going to be, uh, we'll basically add uh, a line along the edge. So we're going to work on the left hand side of the ship. So basically you just want to add a line of blocks along the top of what you've already got on the outside. So you've got the overhang here like this. So basically you're just doubling it in height. So you just add a white line along the top of that overhang. And I use world edit for this because it's going to take a while. So just, just increase the height of it to another block high. All the way down the side to the other end. This is on the outside edge. So down to the end of that outside edge, we just go to there, we do set quartz, that's what we want there. So there we go, that's increased in height. And then for the next few sections of the overhang as well, just all the overhang, just add uh, another line on top. So basically increasing it in height. So how many sections are there? There's the outside edge and then there's one, two, three, four, five sections at the back here. So just add the outline, or not outline, just add the extra height to the overhang. And there we go, up to the end of the overhang like that. So that's all increased in height to two blocks. And then from the end block of that overhang, you want to start building a curve back inwards again. So from the end here, you want to add two rows of four, so one, two, three, four. So you can see it's at the end of that uh, overhang there. So that's a row of four, and then another row of four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows, no, three rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then two rows of two, so two, two, and two. And then you want to change direction and go two that way. And then three, one, two, three. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, and then five again one two three four five and then at the end of that add a center block that should be in line as it is with the center block of the two decks below so that's the center block there and that is the center point of that curve so it curves in from the outside right to the center there so that is one half done like that <coughs> excuse me so what I'm gonna do I use the I use a world edit to do this so I just go from there to the outside edge and copy paste it to the other side and it shouldn't take a minute so I just fly over to the front end copy flip it paste it and then we'll move on to the next job up to there and then we go to the center block over here copy flip paste and do whatever so that is the center block there 
and we do copy flip to the right and we paste like that and there we go that's both sides done so we've got the overhang increased in height on the outside of both sides so there we go <coughs> excuse me so now the next job we're going to do is the side windows now there's going to be a lot of windows to add always windows so what we're going to do turn the page on my notes because this is what is going to be needed and what we're going to do from the outside edge so we're going to leave the front curve for now we're going to go to the outside edge the first block of the outside edge at the front here so we're on the left hand side of the ship so you've got these two blocks here and you increase that to eight so we go that's two three four five six seven eight so that is that point there so you can do the other side if you want to but we're just going to focus on the left hand side for the minute so as I say, that's the bottom two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then what we're going to do is add windows. The windows are going to be three blocks high, so I'll just uh, rearrange a few things. So we're going to put the groups of windows. Now there's going to be seven groups of 15 windows, three groups of 10 windows, and nine groups of two windows. Now the way the windows are laid out, I shall explain. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add the first set of win uh, 15, so that's one window two windows three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so you got fifteen windows three blocks high with a gap between each so that is your first fifteen and we're going to uh, fill in the gaps in between so we just add the pillars in between the windows like so starting to get a bit of lag now as well which really doesn't help right, so that's your first 15 and after that 15 you want to add a, th a gap which is three blocks so one two three and then increase that to three high like that so it's a, basically a nine block gap and then you want to add two windows you want to add a window there which is three high and then another window there which is three high so you've got a gap between the two and then fill in a gap between like that and then after that another three or nine gap like that so that's 15 gap two windows gap and then it'll be uh, another 15 so we'll go on to the next 15 windows so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and same before fill in the gaps in between So that's the second group of 15. I just marked that down on my list so I don't uh, don't go too far. So we've got uh, 15 there. And at the end of that 15th window, we add the nine gap again. So it's three by three, like that. And then we add another group of two. So we go uh, window, window, space in between. And then you add another three gap or nine gap. So three, three, three. So there we go, that's that one done. And then we're on to the next group of 15, so another 15 windows. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's your next 15 windows. Let me fill in the gap like so. So yeah, that's three groups of 15 windows. I'll just mark that on my notes as well. So that's one, two, three. And then at the end of that 15 group, you want to add another nine gap. So three, 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 like that. And then another group of two windows. So it's window, window, space in between. And then a three by three at the end. Like that. So you've got your three 15s with the two in the middle. And then what we want to do is do the same again, 15 windows. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And same again, fill in the gaps. Like it says, that is four groups of 15. So I shall mark that down on my notes with a, with a pen running out. Right, so there we are. At the end of that 15, once again, you add your 3x3, three three, like that, and then another two windows. So window and window. Like so, and then another 3x3. Three three. So that is four groups of 15, and it's, I just double checked that so 1, 2, 3, 4 are written down, and then we do 1, 2, 3, 4. That was fine. So yeah, that's four groups of fire, uh, 15 windows. So now we're on to the next group of 15. This is uh, group five, so go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I didn't want to go 16, did I want to go 15? <laughs> Miscounting again, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. 11, 12, 13, 14, that's fine. Alright, so I'm up to 15, I went over by one, so apologies there. Alright, so that's 15 windows, and then like before, just add the gaps in between, or fill in the gaps in between. <sighs> Things I do, I was so, in <laughs> so involved in that, I forgot what I was doing. <sighs> Never mind. Alright, anyway, filling in all the gaps, so that is your fifth group of 15 windows like that and then at the end you want to add the group uh, not the group but the uh, the 3x3 three three spacer like that and then another group or pair of windows so we go window 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 and the space between and then the 3x3 three three after them so that's the five groups of windows or so five groups of 15 so I'll just double check one two three four five done and we're on to group six. All right, so onto the sixth group of fifteen. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. So that's fifteen windows again. And then we fill in the gaps in between. So that's the sixth group of fifteen. I hope. So we go, that's that group of 15. I'll just double check on my notes. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, done. And then like before, you add the 3x3 three three afterwards. And then a 2 window. Like that. Fill in the gap. And then another 3x3. Three like that and then on to the final group of 15 this is the seventh group um, and then what you want to do is do you well, build it so you do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then like before fill in the gaps. So apologies if it's taken so long but I just want to get this as accurate as I can. Shouldn't really apologize really is as fast as I'm willing to go. Um if you do any faster than this then uh, something wrong with you. Well that's your sixth I think that's the seventh group one I'll just double check that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll just double check on the on the build. So it should be seven groups of fifteen done by now. So we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 groups of 15 done. So that's fine. That's all 7 of the 15. All done. And then like before, we add the 3x3 three three at the end. And then we add the two windows. There's a window there and a window there. And we put that there. Um, and then we want the three gap at the end. So yeah, we've got that window and the three gap here. So it's a three gap, even though it's over a, over a, a join. So it's still three if you look at it from the side. So it's still a three by three. 
And then after that, 3x3, three three, you want to add uh, a group of 10 windows. So this is the first of three groups of 10. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we fill in the gaps there. Like that. So that's that group of 10. And then after that, of course, you want the 3x3. Three three. So you go 2, 3, 3, 3, like that. So that's your group of 3. And then after that, you want your two windows. So we add a window and a window and fill in the space in between. So that's the first 10. Just write this down. And got that done, that done. And then we've got, after that, you want your group of 3x3. Three three. So 3, 3, three just write that down and then we want the second group of ten so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten right there you go so as you can see I've just built over a join but it's still if you look from the side a single block gap in between but that is still the ten windows and we add the gaps in between now don't rush ahead and build the uh, group of two windows because there's not going to be a group of two between this set and the next so I just thought I'll point that out first so this is where the window layout changes slightly so you've got that group of ten there like that and then after that group of ten you want to build uh, a group of three, that three by three of course, so you've got the three by three like that and then you want another row of ten windows so instead of having a two by two, uh, a two window, it's a ten window, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so you get ten windows like that, but I've also built on a join as well with one window sitting exposed, but don't worry about that you can adjust that if you want to or leave as is but so that's the 10 windows and then we just fill in the gaps between like so, so that's the third, ten of, uh, third group of 10 windows and then after that you want to build a 4 gap so we build uh, instead of 3x3 three three, it's 4x3 three, so 1, 2, 3, 4 make it 3 high so that's group of four like that so that's that set there and after that uh, group of four you want to build your two windows so you build window and then window and then the gap in between and then after that from here you just add that single pillar and that's that's all the windows and uh, that's how it should look you can't really see it at the moment but uh, we've got all the groups of windows in place so we're up to the the curve on the end now so we don't have to worry about any more windows for the moment but that is the side and this thing is massive even though it, 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 you can't see it all in one shot because of the uh, the fog on it but uh, it's all there all the windows are on so the next job we want to do is behind that last group of two windows is uh, around the curve we want to build one two three four up so basically from the uh, the, the, the foundation around the back just increase that to five high so two three four five so it's one block higher than the windows and it should look something like that so increase that back wall up to the center point up to five high so increase it to five so just do this as quick as I can don't really want to use wild edit I probably have to in a minute so we'll just go around to the center point for now and then we'll focus on the next bit and I have to use well did it here because I'm getting bored already um, to there to there there and then I shall go only up to the center point for the moment so up to there 
There we go, that's all increased in height to the centre line. That is five high there. So that's the back wall all done. And then what we want to do is from the uh, end of the uh, windows, add a line of blocks all the way along the side of the ship, along the side, along the top of the windows, all the way to the very front of the, uh, well, the front group of windows. So we we'll just do this. Let's add the line all the way across the top of the windows. And this shouldn't take too long, just do this as quick as I can. So along the top of all the windows. Nearly there, yep, nearly there. So we'll just carry on with this all the way along. I could have done this with well edit, but I thought I'd do it freehand. So, ooh, oh, nearly. So all the way along. Up to the front point there. There we are. That is that point done. So that's all the windows covered up. So we've got a massive amount of windows done along the side. And, uh, Okay, back again. Quick jump cut there. The uh, game went into a sort of seizure, so I had to uh, restart it. But anyway, uh, what I was saying is we've got all the windows done now, all covered up, and uh, it should all look something like that. Um, I was going to say, underneath the uh, overhang here, you've got this white wall we've already built uh, for the two decks below. This will, uh, this white wall, this will eventually have windows along it, so um, don't worry about it looking too blank. Um, if you look on the prototype, you can just see windows along that white wall. So that is... Uh, something that will be done later on. Right, so that is that uh, all covered up. So we've got uh, windows along the side here. So I'm just going to do a quick copy paste from point A to point B. So we're just going to flip it over to the other side. And uh, this side should all be done. And uh, of course if you're using it, on, if you're doing consoles or uh, is it Minecraft PE edition, then you're going to have to do a lot more, a lot more building. So I'll just go up to the, or down to the back end here. And then we do the usual copy and then the usual flip to the right and then we paste and there we go that's both sides done and we've got all the windows in place and the overhang is all good and all the windows down the back are fine or down the sides rather there will be windows as well added to the back wall here but uh, that's something for another day as well so just getting the the main bulk of the uh, ship or the main bulk of the details out of the way first and then we're going to add the windows the same. Same on the decks below, you've got all the windows to add later on. So that is something for another day. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this and fly all the way to the forward end, the front end of the ship. And we've got to uh, increase the height of that front wall first. So we just fly all the way down. Right. So here we are at the uh, front wall here, and what we're going to do is just increase the height of this from point A, which is over there, around the front, to point B, just increase it to seven blocks high. So I'll go to one corner first. I use freehand for a minute, so this point here just up to seven high, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically the same height as that pillar we built first, so up to seven high, so... Shouldn't take too long, in theory. Actually, we'll use world edit in a moment. Up to there. Now, now I should use world edit from there down to there. I do set quartz to there, and then same on the next one. There is, has to be a quicker way of doing this. Actually, I'll go back to using free hands. It may be quicker. Now I'll go back to using well did it. And 
and that's the front of the curve and now we're onto the straight bit so we're going to build forward here increase that to seven and across the front down to there so that's the front or well, one half of it done I'm just going to add a center color block so I've got a, a marker to work with so what I'm going to do I should do a quick copy paste and flip it over copy flip then paste it so I go from that block to the center flip it over paste it done down to there and we stand on the top we do copy flip to the right again and then we do paste and there we go that's both sides done and that is how the front wall should look there will be windows to add later on like on all the other bits I've just explained but the windows will be added to that bit later on so we are getting there with the, the detailing of the ship and uh, it don't look too bad so I'm just going to have a quick look at my notes bear with me a second when we move on to the next bit so uh, bear with me right so now the next job is to uh, do a bit more awkwardness here because uh, I was going to say add the deck but there is a bit more difference to this one because there is a, a deck at, which goes at a normal height here at the fi fifth block high but the front portion of the sh of the superstructure is one block higher the deck is so what I want to do first is on the, on the side of the ship the first window of the 15 the first 15 windows here you've got the first window here and on top of that you've got the block there and you just want to add another one two blocks like that so you've added two blocks like so and then from that from the top block you want to build inwards eight so one two three four five six seven eight like that and then the same underneath it one two three four five six seven eight like that and that is how that should look and do the same on the other side and we do two up and then we go one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven eight like that underneath and that is how the, uh, the front deck should look so um, this is I'm sort of working out how to do this because um, the uh, well, the deck is going to be up to this point and it's going to drop uh, got to go up a bit so uh, I think underneath so yeah, so underneath the uh, the two eights we just got in, we add another row of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But continue going all the way across to the other side. So all the way across to the other row of eight, like so, to that point there. So that that creates a barrier really, because when I come to fill in the deck, it'll come all the way forward and end at this bulkhead basically. So that is that point, and then for the um, the, the deck above what we're going to do is in between the two eights on each side along the top row so the top row here um, we'll just add wood blocks in between so a single line of wood blocks between the two rows of eight uh, from point A to point B from side to side basically so we'll just add the wood deck up to there and that's how that should be um, yeah I think, that, I think that's alright I'm just trying to think uh, I'm just going to fly over to the prototype here because it's sort of starting to confuse me a bit. So I'll just fly over and uh, have a quick gander at what we're doing. And ooh, he crashed into that. Right, so there we are. There's our barrier there. So the, wood, the, the deck I'm about to add here, and then the upper deck is in here. So that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in there. So that is fine. Uh, ignore the wood in there <laughs> so that is fine so that is how that should be so yeah that is that's all fine so right what we're gonna do now just fly back and we can start filling in the deck so the the, the front portion of the uh, superstructure will fill in with uh, wood first so of course you got the uh, top line of wood there you go from the uh, front end first then and of course, like on the previous decks, we just add the wood deck along the top line of the of the uh, of the uh, white, like so. And you got quite a big gap under here. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six gap in here. It's quite a big section this, but that is the first few blocks of that section. So I just stand on that block there and use the fill tool to fill in this section. So you use fill wood. 300 even though I don't need 300 and there we go that's the front portion done and that's the front of the superstructure how it should be so that is that portion of the deck done don't worry about this edge here because it's a, it's a clean edge at the moment but that will be covered up 
when the rest of the superstructure goes in uh, in place so don't worry too much about that so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to fly to the back end of the ship and fill in the rest of the deck so the rest of the, uh, the lower deck basically but it's, it's, it will be the boat deck because the lifeboats will be along the sides here so we just fly down to the back end <coughs> excuse me and we're we'll like before along the top of the uh, wood here uh, top of the white sorry we'll just add the wood decking and just build that all the way along all the way along to the front end so like before stand on this block here use the fill tool and it shouldn't take too long in theory oh, I just have a drink yeah uh, excuse me shouldn't take too long I keep mentioning that all right there we go there's the deck added along the top of the white there and it's probably still uh, filling in and probably not gone all the way so I'm going to go up and fill in the rest and it's I don't think it's, it's, it's stopped short but not too fast it's not too too bad at the moment so I shall go down to deck level again add a block there and there and stand on it and fill in the rest so fill wood 300 And there we go. That's the uh, wood decking added up to that point. So that's the uh, the boat deck added, and uh, got quite a bit done. So you can you can see you got the uh, overhang here, but that is not an issue at the moment. I actually think this area here might be cut off. I'm just gonna have to go back and do. The, and when I well yeah, when I come back to do the next section, I think I may have to tidy this up. So this may not be right at the moment, but don't worry, I'll explain that um, before the next video or in the next video. Sorry. So um, this is just a temporary thing at the moment, this uh, this wood edge here. There's maybe a white wall all the way along, but we'll wait and see. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for today, because we've got quite a bit out of the way. We've got three decks added, or three superstructure sections done. And uh, the ship is gradually taking shape, so that is an awful lot done. And uh, yeah, so that is part six out of the way. So part seven, I'm just trying to think, we'll start on... Well, it's obvious it's going to be the boat deck superstructure, but well, depending on how much it's going to be, though. So um, it may be the it'll definitely be the boat deck superstructure. It may be the bridge deck as well. Um, but we'll wait and see because there's, there's still quite a bit to go. But uh, yeah, there's uh, that will probably be the next part, the uh, the, the boat deck superstructure. But uh, yeah, that that uh, that'll be for the next part. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. Thanks for watching and all that, and uh, I shall return in part seven. So uh, bye for now.